What's up, guys? Welcome to PeopleSoft channel. Siva Koya here, back with one more interesting video. A couple of weeks back, I showed you how to install PeopleSoft natively on your Windows 10 environment. Many of you posted some positive comments about it. I really appreciate it. Anil, one of our buddies, requested me to post another video to show how to install App Designer in the same environment. This is for you, Anil. Without any delay, let's get started. All right, let's continue where we left off in the previous episode. Just to remind you one more time, I assume you have completed all the installation steps that I followed in my previous episode. If not, I will make sure to add link to my previous episode in the description below. You can follow along and complete those steps. Our goal is to access App Designer in this episode. Let's take a look at the contents of the installation directory. If you remember, this is the folder we have selected to install PeopleSoft components. Let's open it. There is a PT folder and it looks like it has already installed PeopleTools client. See the folder ps underscore home 8.58.08, which means it has already installed PeopleTools client. Let's go ahead and try to access App Designer. As you can see, I received this error when I try to access App Designer. It looks like my user account doesn't have sufficient access to execute this application. Let me go ahead and fix it. Let me go ahead and access the folder where all these files are located and make sure my user account has sufficient access to run our application. Navigate to Security tab. Select your user account and grant security. I will go ahead and apply the changes and give it one more shot. This time we received a different error. It looks like we need to set up PeopleSoft configuration file. Let me go ahead and do that. I will access PeopleSoft configuration file from the same folder. Then configure database name, user ID and connect ID. Connect ID and password should be the one that you configured in the previous episode. Let's apply the changes and try one more time. As you can see, now we are able to successfully access App Designer. Next, I will download Oracle SQL Developer from Oracle website. I have already downloaded it. I will unzip it. I will open SQL Developer. Let's connect to our database. I will click on the plus button. I would select TNS and I will select HR92DMO. Let me give my user ID and password. I'll test connection. As you can see, it's success. Now I'll connect to our database. Let me give some name to the database. I will say HR DMO and I'll connect to our database. Now we can run queries on our HR demo environment. Okay. That's all I have for you today. For more interesting content, don't forget to visit my channel. I'll be back with one more interesting episode next week. Smash that like button if you feel like this content was helpful for you. To follow my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. See you next week.